One thing I want to make a very short video about that I think is really important. And that was an aha moment for me that's going to save you a lot of confusion and heartache and time. I call it is the conversion attribution look back window that I know that's very nerdy, but it's very simple. And again, it's going to save you a lot of confusion and heartache. So remember, as you're as you have your dashboard set up here and you can see every step of your funnel, if you have leads or website registrations leading into strategy sessions leading into purchases, then and, and a lot of people might ask for review. Well, how do I know the purchase value? How the heck do you know that? simply because on the thank you page, if you remember in our pixels training, we put a conversion value. So when we set up our pixels and our goals, we said if somebody hits that page after they purchase, so not the shopping cart, shopping cart page, but after they purchase, we put the conversion value. Now, if you have different prices and different products, you either have to have different thank you pages with different values or just use the average. If you have one or two products and your average customer value is you know $1,000, then just put a thousand dollars because it's better than nothing, but be conservative. So a lot of this, it says like $70,000. That's not the total value of a customer. I put a, a, a small fraction of that. If I have a, a mastermind customer that might be paying me $5,000 per quarter or per month or whatever, or a low end customer that's paying 50 bucks a month um, for the community, I'm not going to say this, this thing's only worth 50 bucks because it's going to shortchange me. But if I say it's worth 5,000, then I'm not factoring in reality. So you have to know the lifetime value of a customer. It goes without saying, and then you want to have, I, I usually put the annual value of the customer times 0.6 or 0.7 to be very, very conservative. If you don't know your numbers, then just put the first month's revenue, at least you'll have a metric, okay? Well, here's what freaked me out about look back. You'll, I'll look at my ads, you know, on a given day, I'll look at today and I'll say, you know, wait a minute, I didn't get any sales. I know I got some sales, but they're not showing up here. Or I'll look at over the course of 30 days and say, wow, I didn't realize I had that many sales. Something must be wrong. What's, what's working? And here's what it is. This is a big aha moment that few people know about. I wish I would have known it a long time ago. Facebook, the way it tracks pixels is based on reverse windows of attribution. Meaning if somebody clicked on an ad last week and then through seeing a social media post of yours or maybe they went on vacation and then they read an email... So let's just give a very basic example. Let's say somebody clicked on this ad a week ago and then I emailed them a few days, some testimonials and some, some examples or a link to sign up and they went and signed up. This money, the website purchase value is going to be assigned on the day that they last clicked the ad if you're using click attribution. All that means is when I told you to set up your ad sets for one or seven day clicks, usually one day clicks for leads, if someone clicked on your ad that they saw on Facebook, they, they're a fan of Amy Porterfield, they clicked on your ad, um, and then they received emails or other forms of communication or they came to an event or they were called by a salesperson or they just forgot and were reminded because you retargeted them or whatever, but they didn't click on the retargeting ad. Maybe this is the last thing they clicked on. That money is going to be applied ret retroactively. So this money, the, the revenue, the money, the cash, the revenue is going to show up retroactively to the day they actually clicked. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is always look historically and, you know, Molly Pittman and digital marketers said it really well. Sometimes you just have to look at the big picture. You have to look at overall for 30 or 90 days, what you spent and what you had in front end revenue, you know, in terms of ROI, because there's a lot of different ways people can see you and hear you. And, and Facebook doesn't track cr across multiple platforms like some of the other options do. They're looking within Facebook, Facebook, within your cookie pixel. They are saying the last ad you clicked on and the date you clicked on it. Once you, if you purchase a couple days later through email or some other channel, they're going to reverse apply that revenue. So the only takeaway and the only nuance, is, the only nuance I really want to share with you, is always look back seven and thirty days to see the real number and kind of verify that matches with your real cash receipts that that actually matches your revenue number for attribution. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you.